to cooking with Alex. Mom, you're crazy. But today we're making our own pizza. So, we'll make, right now we're making the dough. So what we need is all of this flour, warm water, mm -hmm. salt, and vegetable oil. What else? And no. Oh, and we also need measuring cups and people will get out. You're forgetting something. Oh, and rice. There we go. I don't know why we can't use wet yeast. Because wet yeast is curse. We're using dry. Alright, so first, well, you can pour it in any water. I like to start with the water. So I'm going to add the water first. Warm water helps the yeast grow and bloom. Yep. Yeah, whole packet. Open sesame. Open sesame seeds. These look like sesame seeds. Just extremely small. No. All right. This is nice paper and plastic, alright? So that would be that. One tablespoon, right? Of? Salt? No! One quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna do this over One and a quarter. Oh, of oil? Yeah. Two yeah. tablespoons. One and a, one quarter. And one and Can it. We need one quarter cup of the other with this flour. So I'm going to start with the one cup of the Lower and lock. And turn it on. No, three. For 30 seconds. Now they're up. Turn it off. Get a spatula, scrape the sides. Oh, I said off. Just scrape the sides and it's excess, not access. 
I access all the flour. Scrape off all the access. <laughs> like this. Strong materials. Alright, lower and lap. Lower. Turn it into the highest, right? No. Because they go like flying. Yes, high speed, three minutes. Hard. That's not. Just push. All the way. There you go. Stir is extremely slow. Now we gotta pour in the cup. A little bit at a time. Mm. Got some over there. That's fine. Oh, any more in there. The thing is though, we could always use a knife to like, scrape it off. No, not, don't use a knife. Forget that we had this. <laughs> right, scrape the sides like I showed you. Alright. It's starting to really look like dough, right mom? Yeah. But I mean, don't, doesn't need the flour. Cam, we will be needing you to get off the counter very soon. Why? To knead the dough. I. Someone will help me. There's something called a chain. No one needs to help me. Let me try. On the counter, we're not done. Mom, mm -hmm. oh, does this look thick enough? No, a little more. It was a double the chain sticking. Alright, time to put away the flour. Needs more flour. Oh, need more. One, one more cup. What, this one? I think we need... Yeah, do it a little bit at a time with the little one. A little... Kim, I want to do it. Fine. And how many cups? Just a quarter at a time. Oh, can you don't use your finger. Let it be on your hands. Let it be on your hands. Cam, hold the camera. Hold the camera. At the door. Hold it all out. What are you getting out here? What are you getting? Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you call a bag? But why did the chicken cross the universe? What? Why? To get to the same place. But if you cross the universe, you're just gonna end up with Yep. So you cross the universe, get to the same side? Yep. All because you just wanted to test it out. Alex, do you know what you're doing? Are you gonna go? Do you know how to do it? I don't really know how. So you basically just do this, right? No. Don't do it. Where's the heel? Your hand? You flip. So what she's doing, Alex? 
Come on, I don't, I don't, I don't. Then you have to do it flat, right, Bob? No, you just keep twisting it convenient oh. until it is oh, crap. muddy, okay. stiff, smooth, and elastic. Ah, it's already very elastic. No, it's not. No, it's not. Break it. Break it. I'm the best for the owner. I'm the best for the owner. Not the best for the owner. Okay, I need to get out of here. So, woo! We do not follow him because he doesn't get twisted. I'm like a pizza man. I'm going with the wind. I want to have the hot wings, Mom. You don't have to hot wings. Just, just for me, Mom, Dad. Dad, do you know what I mean? I don't know what my hands are starting to hurt. Alright, see? Oh, my hands are so flowery. I'm sorry, I'm missing. I can't oh. hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Is it elastic? Yep. Yes, yeah, like slime. It's a monster. Six. What makes the elasticity? The gluten. <laughs> the don't know. Yeah, you're right. And gluten is a protein. Because it's made from wheat. No, not because it's made from wheat, but it's a protein in wheat. I'm just gonna find this out to do with this. Just watch it. Start. You can see that it became thinner. Ten minutes. Another ten. Use it to score it. Oh wait. Yeah, just kind of like chop down on it, and then you can split it with your hands. Hey Cam, what you doing, buddy? Get a popsicle. Looks like a brain. It's about to look like a giant croissant. <laughs> no, it already is. Like, once I do that, it's gonna look like a giant croissant. Doesn't it, Mom? Could have just used your hands, too. I just gave you that to make it easier to see where half was. Or a leech into a ball. Lightly flower the tops. I said lightly. Alright, these look like a potatoes. That's fine. I was also using it to wipe my hands. 
Bye for now. Alright. It's done. It, actually, it may look like nothing happened, but actually it did. It doubled in size. Alright, so I'm going to take this, like, scoop it. We're doing a bit of a pan pizza, but not a pan pizza. So, put that on. We're going to spread that out, right, Mom? So do we Use your hands. Oh, dang, like, all over? Do it slowly and gently. Camden. Yeah. I need you as a cameraman. How? Just keep it eyed on there. Mom, what about the rust? Huh? What about the rust? This is what we're making. Cross your hand. Stuffed crust. <laughs> Not that good yet, though. Stuffed crust is good. Well, we can have cheese. What to the crust? Then it's not stuffed crust. We're doing it rustic style. We're not rolling it out. But to make crust, that's the only way. What? To roll it out? Mm -hmm. No. If you're doing pan pizza, you would spread it out into the pan. Sit it in a warm spot for 35 to 45 minutes till it doubled in size again. Or for a thin crust, you would generally roll it out and then put the toppings on and throw it right in the oven. So we're kind of doing a little bit of a mix of that by just kind of spreading it out in the pan. Bless you, chef. I didn't squeeze yet. You're yeah, almost dead. Yeah, I'm almost dead. All right. <laughs> I'll be cutting the slices. Make it even. Well, that's after it's closed. I know. He wants a thicker crust. He wants thinner. Oh, but I have like a thinner. No, no, cover. I know. Come on, do my thinner. Oh, yeah, so I have both. Right. Now, this is for the chunky pieces. Just for nothing. So, I'm going to put his own one. Now, you're going to take a spoon. Bring it close. Bring it next to the pan. Warm top. That works too. I think across the floor. I think across the floor. That's it. That's just how it worked out for us. Great. I think that's enough to be able to spread out. Ooh, it's gonna be like chunky because it is. Am I spreading this out correctly? Yeah, just like spreading peanut butter or something. Yeah, I love that. Just making the beautiful sandwich. It's not very, it's not very beautiful peanut butter. I think we need a bit more flavor over there over here. Basically, almost use up the whole jar. That's fine. You can use the whole jar. Can we, can we do it? So I might as well just dump it all. No, don't just dump it on there. Fine. Some people like lots of sauce. Some people like little sauce. I'm on the little sauce size. I'm sorry, yeah. Right, Smiley. Don't forget over here. The non saucy part will be able to fix, right, Mom? Mm hmm. Okay, sauce. All right, not toppings. Wait, baby, right here. Sorry, Mom, this is too much sauce for you. We need the cheese before the top. I yeah. like the cheese on top of the toppings. Whoa, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> we must, we make a drop cheese. We're not gonna make no fancy. Cheese monster. Cam, start putting it on. Hey, what about the toppings first? No, mom, you're crazy. No. I shall add toppings. Oh, I'll add olives. I like putting the pepperoni and olives on first. That way, the cheese like melts over top of it and makes sure it doesn't fall off the pizza. Well, proper pizza top fall off. Oh. I'm going to make this like an actual piece of pizza, but sometimes the toppings will fall. Yeah. 
man. Oh, yeah. I'm totally free right now. And not extremely Because I'm sitting very proper, proper, proper. Good thing we have two of them. Hey, not yet. But yeah, you can add that both. Um, you can put the pepperonis on. Can I eat one? Yeah. Nice olive cheese pepperoni pizza, right, Mom? Mm hmm. Best thing. Why do we keep forgetting the corners? Why do we all keep forgetting the corners? You're the only one doing it. They're too good. You didn't try a pepperoni. Yeah, how yeah, how do you cold meat? Alex okay. refuses to eat any kind of cold meat, whether it be bologna, ham, turkey, chicken, pepperoni. If it's cold, he is not gonna eat it. I don't even think this kid would eat a slim jim or beef jerky. I eat I eat I'll I will eat cold beef jerky. I'll I have a glove with beef jerky. So, why won't you eat pepperoni? It's like the same thing. Well, pepperoni kind doesn't of. have the multiple flavors. Pepperoni has only one flavor. That multiple starts. All right, time to put this up in the oven. No, it's not. Fine, Mom. Ow. Not me, just the pizza. They look so proper, proper. So yeah, we're probably just gonna add a more pepperonis instead of olives. So can okay, we grab the olives? Not sure if I. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Can't get out of the kitchen. He's eating all the cheese. All right. I don't know about my kids. But I love a really cheesy pizza. Oh, a, ooh, a double deluxe pizza. So, like, we'll have cheese. No, we'll add even more toppings on, on top of that cheese. That would be overkill. It would be a double deluxe. I just put the cheese away. Um, I don't know where it is. What? Going to the oven! Goodbye, pizza! For about 20 minutes. And. Alright. Alright, so the pizza's done. Now, time to look at it, see if it's actually ready. Yup. It done. It literally looks like a pizza.